Hi everyone. Today I'm really excited that I will try nine JavaScript frameworks and I will use CLI to bootstrap the applications. But before doing that, first thing first, as it is written in their official GitHub pages, React is not a framework, it is actually a library and Svelte is actually a compiler. But I might use framework word for all these nine items. Before doing the actual code, I want to show the NPM trends of all these frameworks. Right now, I'm looking for last six months data. And we can see here, this is React, which is in the top. And this NPM trends is basically the download trends of all these packages. Then we can see Angular and Vue.js is fighting really hard here. And finally, let's see this Svelte. Though Svelte has a very lower download numbers comparing to others, Svelte's GitHub stars are really a big number and it's increasing. So now let's get started. I will first start with React and for creating React application, there is a CLI called Create React App. So let's try with that. I will use NPX. I will give a name cool React and it is bootstrapping the application. It might take few seconds or a minute. We can wait for that. Okay, let's go to the folder and let's open the code editor, which is VS code with the command code space dot. Nice. To run the application, we can do yarn start or we can try npm start. Let's go with yarn start for now. This application is running on our localhost 3000. So let's go there in the browser and we can see this is running here. Now, if I keep browser and the code editor side by side, we can see if we just change this line, like welcome to the Destro dev show. If I save this, it automatically reloads UI here. Create React app has hot reloading included with it. We don't need to do the manual refreshing anymore. Here, the Destro Dev Show is my channel name. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Let's also see the folder structure of Create React app. So it has a source directory. There is one app.js where we are actually changing the code. And this is the main component of the application. And if we go to index.js, we can see here this app component is actually rendered in this react dom dot render function. Now let's move to the second framework, which is Next.js. For Next.js, we will also use the CLI with NPX. So let's try with that. It is asking for our project name. We can give like next app. Cool, it is done. Go inside the directory, try with yarn dev. Let's keep the code editor and the browser side by side. We can see here in the pages directory, there is one file called index.js. Here we can see, welcome to next.js. Let's change it to the destro dev show. If I save it, it also instantly reloads the page. And if we check the folder structure here, there is a API folder with hello.js, which is one API. The API can be accessed like 3000 port slash API slash hello. Let's change this to the destro dev show. And if I save and here, if I refresh, we can see this API got changed here. We can actually connect to any database here and then fetch the data from this API. Nice, let's go to our next framework, which is Gatsby. One spoiler here. I will try Svelte.js and Sapper.js at the end of this video because the approach of Svelte.js is a little bit different. As they say, it is not a framework. It is basically one compiler. Also, I'm not going so deep for each framework. This video is actually to help to break the ice. Sometimes we actually fear to get started with something new. We will try all the frameworks here. The ice will be broken. Then I will create separate videos to really go deeper and try them out. So now let's move to Gatsby. As it is written here in the official doc, I will install Gatsby globally. Let's wait a bit. Gatsby is installed in my machine. I can do Gatsby new. I can give a name like Gatsby app. Gatsby application has been created. Let's go inside. To run the Gatsby app, we can do like Gatsby develop. We can see our Gatsby application is running on localhost 8000. So if we go there, cool, we can see our Gatsby app is running here. Let's keep the code and browser side by side. If we change this to the destro dev show, 
and if we save this we can see it is automatically reloading in the browser so Gatsby also has hot reloading with it if we check the default folder structure then we can see there is also page 2 here which is actually for another route go to page 2 let's change a little bit Gatsby default starter also has routing inside it now let's move to angular I will install angular CLI globally so let's do that Angular CLI is installed in my machine right now. ng space new. I will provide ng app. It is asking me if I want routing with it. I will say yes. For styling, I will go with plain CSS right now. It is creating the application. It might take few seconds. Our application has been created. Let's go to the app directory and if we run ng space serve then it will run the application in my localhost it is running on localhost 4200 let's go to the browser and try it cool so it is running here in my localhost if we check the folder structure it has one app directory in the src folder then here we have app.module.ts where actually the main application component is used so let's go to app.component and here we can see there is app.component.html and CSS. Let's go to this HTML. This is basically the main thing which we can see in the UI right now. Let's change this to the desktop app show and let's save it. Angular also has hot reloading with it. Also we remember we added router with Angular application. Here there is app routing module. So if we go here we see here angular slash router is included okay let's go to our next framework Vue.js. for creating the view application first we will install this view cli globally let's do that it will take some time let's wait for that view cli installation is done so let's try view create view app it is asking me use this registry for faster installation i would say yes i will take the default preset I will use npm Vue.js app has been created let's do cd view app and then npm run serve now my view application is running on my local host 8080 let's go there awesome we can see Vue.js application is running on my local host if we check the folder structure here there is a main.js in the src folder and we can see this app.view actually exporting this app which is then rendered in the view context, right? So let's go inside this app.view file. Here we can see welcome to your Vue.js app, which is here. Let's change this to the desktop app show. If I save, it also automatically reloads the page, which means Vue.js also has hot reloading with it. Cool. If we go inside, we can see this hello world component. Change something here, it should actually change here. Now let's go to our next framework, Nux.js. Nuxt.js is similar like Next.js. Next.js is a framework based on React and supports server-side rendering and static site generation. And Nuxt.js is also similar kind of thing based on Vue.js also supports server-side rendering and static site generation. To create the Nuxt application, I will try this command with npx create Nuxt app. I will give a name like Nuxt app. It might take some time. It is asking for confirmation. Yes, this is my project name. I will go with JavaScript for now. I will go with NPM. For the UI framework, I will select none for now because I want to really see the basic template. Cool to see it is asking for universal or single page app. I would just go with the universal. I would go with server Node.js. Okay, after giving some inputs, it finally created the application and we can go to Nuxt app folder and run NPM run dev cool it is running on localhost 3000 let's go there awesome we can see nuxt app is running on my localhost if we have a look on the folder structure here we can see there is a pages folder and inside the pages folder there is index.view and here if we change this nuxt app to the desktop app show and save it we can see it also automatically reloads the page which means nuxt also has hot reloading with it and here we can see one component called logo there is a components folder and there is a logo.view this logo component has been used here if i remove this logo and press save the page should reload instantly Okay, this is basically not reloading and if I manually reload it, then it is working. 
again if I revert it back and then press save it doesn't automatically reload the page with the loop. So maybe Nuxt.js team can fix that later. Now from this Vue.js chapter, we'll move to our next framework, Ember.js. For bootstrapping the Ember application, I will first install the Ember CLI globally in my machine. The Ember CLI installation is done. We can try Ember new Ember app. Here Ember dash app is actually our application name. The CLI is creating the application right now. So let's go to Ember app folder and try npm start. The application is running on localhost 4200. Let's try that in browser. Nice, we see default Ember template is working on my localhost 4200. Okay, let's go through the folder structure. We can see here components, folder, controllers. Those are empty right now by default. There is one application.hbs file. And here we can also see in the right side, remove the welcome page component from your application file. Comment out and press save. Just to try out, I will just add one h1 tag. Welcome to the desktop app show. It shows here instantly. Ember also has hot reloading in it. From this Ember chapter, let's go to our final framework chapter, which is Svelte.js. For Svelte, we have two items. One is Svelte.js and another one is Sapper.js. So first, let's try with Svelte. As I said in the beginning of the video, Svelte is not a framework. It is actually a compiler. Let's see how we can create a default boilerplate for Svelte. npx command, let's try that. I will give a name like Svelte app. Then cd svelte app. We need to do npm install manually for this svelte. Then we can try npm run to run it locally. It is running on localhost 5000. Let's try that. Okay, cool. So this is basically a basic hello world application. Let's keep the VS code and the browser side by side. If we check the folder structure, here we have main.js. Here we can see app component in app.svelte file. If we change it to the destro dev show, this is the way to pass the property to the component. It actually instantly reloads the page. Cool. It doesn't have a lot of things in the folder structure like create react app. It is pretty simple. Now from this simplicity, we will go to our next framework, Sapper. And Sapper is basically a framework based on Svelte. So let's try Sapper now. We can see here Sapper is available under Svelte.js organization in GitHub. If we ask what is Sapper, Sapper is a framework for building high performance universal web apps. Sapper is definitely powered by Svelte as I said. So now let's create one Sapper application. So if we try with this command and I will give a name like sapper app. So the basement template is cloned. If we go inside the folder and I will do npm install, it might take some time. After running npm install, let's do npm run dev to run the application in my local host. Cool, it was basically pretty fast. I'm really surprised. Let's try. Awesome, it says great success. It also has three routes. Let's see the folder structure. Inside the src folder, we have client.js, server.js. We can see they are using Polka. Polka is actually another similar kind of framework like express.js and they also wrote it in the comment that you can also use express. I will create a separate video for Polka. And then in the routes folder, we have like multiple routes. So here, if we want to change this text, Great success everyone. And it reloads the page. That means Sapper also has hot reloading in it. And we can see we have about.svelte also for this about route. I will not go deep into it cause I will create separate video series on Svelte and Sapper. And of course I will create more videos on React.js. If you want more videos, please click the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel somewhere here. And also click the bell button so that you can get the notification instantly. My goal was mainly to break the ice. If I can start, then I can move forward. I hope you will try these frameworks in 2021. If you have any opinion, please share in the comment below. See you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Ciao.